Okay, hypothyroidism, thyroid gland when it's not producing enough thyroid hormone, that is your hypothyroidism. Again, common in females and young females, maybe pregnant females, you will see this thing, right? So the complaints are opposite to hyperthyroidism, right? So hyperthyroidism patient is very anxious. Hypothyroidism patient is tired. That is what you will see. A uh, patient might have weight gain, right? So Tiredness, we might be thinking it's cancer, but then weight gain, which is going opposite to cancer. So weight gain, lethargy, brittle hair, puffy face, cold intolerance. They feel cold when others are okay. Dry scaly skin, constipation, they will be having. You can ask for the periods as well. They have got like maybe very uh, little bleeding or so. What are the things you should be ruling out? Hypothyroidism, whenever you get, make sure you're ruling out depression. Remember, depression hypothyroid they go hand in hand right so depression you can ask for mood how's your mood you can ask for anhedonia do you enjoy things you used to enjoy before that is really important you can ask for diabetes as well polyuria polydipsia osa osa daytime somnolence because see patient is feeling tired they're feeling tired sleepy in the daytime so osa obstructive sleep apnea so that can be uh, asked as well Myasthenia gravis, tiredness worse at the end of the day. So maybe that can be one of your differential because when you are elaborating tiredness, you're doing odipara. You can ask, is there any particular time of the day that it is getting worse? Is it continuous that your tiredness is throughout the day or is it getting worse any particular time of the day? So that is going to be helpful in ruling out your other differentials like myasthenia. Okay. Uh, ask for past medical history as well. Uh, LMP, that is really, really important. Uh, same general physical exam, vitals, eye examination, thyroid, uh, cardiovascular examination you can do. And full blood count, heart function test, um, ECG, antibodies check you can do. Treatment is uh, nothing much here. Lifestyle, okay, you can do. But mainly, see, treatment is what? Our thyroid gland is not producing enough hormones. So we have to give hormones from outside. That is the thing, right? So... Uh, that is uh, the main thing. So it's uh, levothyroxine. That is what you have to give it to the patient. So they usually take it in the morning, empty stomach, a uh, half hour before the breakfast. That is really important. And it has got the uh, side effects as well. So like nausea, vomiting, palpitations, sweating, endocrinologist, maybe you can refer the patient if you have to screen for autoimmune conditions as well. Or if the patient is pregnant, obviously you need to refer the patient to the specialist or, or, or definitely they'll be uh, seen by the gynecologist so they will be able to manage, right? Safety netting, again, uh, depression, safety netting, suicidal and suicidal thoughts. Uh, these are the things that you can mention in the follow-up and in the safety netting. Is it serious? Not really. It's treatable. We can manage it. Right. And uh, just be careful about these kind of station because depression, I want you to rule out. So one, two question for depression will be really, really important. Okay. So this is what we have in hypothyroidism. Yeah. Can we have CFS also on the differential? Yes, yes. Uh, it's a chronic fatigue syndrome. Yes. But the chronic fatigue is what? It is like uh, when... You don't have, patients feeling tired, they feel tired throughout the day and there is no medical reason behind it. So before you make the diagnosis of a chronic fatigue syndrome, you'd have to rule out other things as well, right? When you ruled out everything and you couldn't find anything, that is chronic fatigue. Patient has to have the history at least for more than three months and chronic fatigue syndrome, the, usually the problem starts with the flu. I had a flu and now I started feeling tired, right? So that is something that you will see uh, in... Uh, hypothyroidism right under which section are these new flashcards available uh where exactly it is hmm that is a good question 
I need to check with the admin team where they have uploaded but it is definitely uploaded that i know yeah so in the whatsapp group i will i will mention it yeah can we uh both depression and hypo in the same station and manage both of course it can be the reason for depression could be underlying cause could be hypothyroidism so you have to manage both that can definitely come all right okay let's move on to 